guys. Happy fall days. It is officially fall. And um, as you can see behind me, I'm on wave two of my Trader Joe's fall haul. So yes, I stopped in again this week and I came back with a new um, assortment of goodies that I'm going to show you right now. So let's get right into it and uh, see what I picked up during my latest trip to Trader Joe's. And um, even though they have their signs up for the Fearless Flyer, I didn't see it anywhere in sight. So you know what that means. I'm going to have to return again next week looking for the Fearless Flyer and probably picking up another haul. So this is wave two. Um, just check out my first video for uh, my fall haul last week on wave one. And here I am again. So yeah, let's get right into it and check out the goodies. Okay, let's see what I found this time around. So it's maybe a little bit smaller than last time, but still there's a lot of great stuff here. And stick around till the end because um, I'm gonna put prices with the photos of each item at the end of this video. So yes, uh, please watch the whole video and do hit that subscribe button down below. So um, what should I begin with first? Okay, we'll go up in the front and center here. They got Trader Joe's Mochi in caramel apple flavor. I, I'm a fan of Mochi to begin with, and I'm a fan of caramel apples, so I have really high hopes for this product. It is frozen, so it is a dessert, and it's caramel apple ice cream surrounded by sweet rice dough, so it looks really good. And serving size is actually six pieces, so you can eat the whole container, I guess, for 480 calories. But I am excited to try this brand new item. And that's um, out now, as is this um, pumpkin cheesecake croissants. Another amazing pairing, because I'm a fan of pumpkin, cheesecake, and croissants. That's an amazing trio, really something I can get into. These are also frozen, ready to bake, so you just pop them in the oven. And I love the way they put them with a cup of coffee. It makes a perfect fall breakfast. So I'm excited to try these as well. And continuing in the freezer dessert section, we got uh, pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. These are like little upside down bun cakes and apparently it's got pumpkin cake and a sticky co uh, toffee like caramel coating and they come in individual cups there's two to a package again i haven't tried these but i'm sure looking forward to it i can just imagine it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream in, uh, on top for pumpkin if you really want to get fall pumpkin-y but yeah, this is another brand new item, new to Trader Joe's, new to me, so I look forward to trying those as well. And also in the freezer, it's the return of the mashed sweet potatoes. These are amazing because they come in these little uh, coin-sized medallions, and you can cook the whole bag, you can cook how many you want microwavable you know the uh, problems and how long it takes to cook sweet potatoes you have to peel them dice them boil them this takes all the work out of it I've tried them last year they even made a good um, sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving so this is a really good product it's only around for the holiday season so uh, I would suggest getting several bags stock up your freezer if you're a sweet potato fan which I am and sweet potatoes are good all year long but I don't necessarily like to prepare them. So that's the return of that. Oh, here's another frozen item from the dessert section. Yes, it may not be 100% fall related, but it is semi-new. It was in the a frequent flyer, fearless flyer, excuse me. It was in the fearless flyer, I think an issue or two back. And this is the instant boba kit. At first it scared me and I wasn't going to try it, but then I read the instructions and it's ready in less than a minute. So basically you microwave, I think there's pouches in there, you microwave them and you just put, uh, pour your favorite drink that would go good with it. I would think like either coffee or soy milk, oat milk, coconut milk, 
something along those lines. So um, I am gonna try this. I might do a little short video when I do, just to see my experience. But um, yeah, so that I gave in and I bought that as well. And I uh, picked up the butternut squash mac and cheese. I did try it, it's very good. It does take longer to cook in the oven than the box says, just warning on that. Um, but once it is cooked, it's really good. It's creamy. You have the butternut squash and cheese sauce, which is really good. It makes a great lunch or dinner. And um, it has that comfort food fall feeling. So it's another great fall item. Again, only available during fall. So grab those if you're a fan. They had that last year as well. And um, then I have organic maple vinaigrette dressing. This is new. I already opened it and tried it on my salad. And it is amazing. I've heard a few reviews that they were not too fond of it. But I am crazy about it. It's like one of my favorite dressings so far. I'm a maple fan. And it's sweet and savory because it's sweet, but then it has the vinegar kick. And it is so good. I really, really, really like this. And I can just imagine it also uh, as a marinade for chicken. So you, I would marinate the chicken and put it on there and then grill it up. And it is really good. I highly recommend this if you're a um, maple syrup fan. But I mean, even so, it's just really good. The taste combination is so savory and delicious it really perks up a salad so yeah that's a new item I will continue to buy this for as long as they have it on the shelves this year and this is a returning favorite the living in gratitude uh, fall edition kabucha so basically it's not pumpkin even though it kind of looks like pumpkin, but it's apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. So it does have the fall spices and it's kind of like a cider, but it still has the kabucha um, taste as well. So it's healthy and it's good for you and it's um, great fall beverage. So that's the returning favorite again. I think this is the third year in a row that they've had it, third or fourth, not sure, but grab it while you can and I also um, picked up another one of the spice ciders so this was in my last fall haul video last week um, but I know these do disappear once they're gone they're gone and they're good you know throughout the winter season so definitely a good item to stock up on and then I couldn't help myself but to get the caramel apple dipping kit First of all, the package is so pretty and festive and fall-like to me. I really like the packaging. And I love caramel apples. And as of recent years, they've been quite hard to find. They're in very limited supply. Um, so I decided why not make my own? So that might also be another fun video. I'm not sure. It might get messy. I might have to experiment with that. But anyway, I definitely wanted to include this in the haul and I do want to try it. So it comes with the caramel, the peanuts, the sprinkles, and the sticks. All you have to do is supply your own apples, which is apple season, so that shouldn't be too hard. So uh, this is a fun, this is a fun kit. It's great for kids. It's a great family. Um, you know event to do so yeah perfect for fall perfect for Halloween the whole bit so that's in the stores now and the returning uh, favorite chocolate mousse pumpkins not only are they cute but they're delicious it's got the moist chocolate cake it's like a velvety um, really good velvety cake with uh, silky uh, mousse filling it's so good nobody that likes chocolate would not like these and of course they're adorable and festive and fun as well so that's another amazing item and uh, picked up the Halloween Jojo cookies because I might not be eating them right now but I'm gonna be saving them for Halloween they're 
They make a good presentation if you have guests over, put them on a bowl, like a Halloween decorated plate. But they're just good. I mean, I didn't pick up the pumpkin JoJo's because I actually like these better. Because I love the uh, like the chocolate cookie with the orange cream inside, and it's and there's a natural coloring, so there's no food coloring, so the orange color comes naturally. So yeah, these were um, these were available last year, and they're back, and they're really cute. So I picked those up. And the pumpkin that walks into the bar walked into my cart again. It wasn't available last week when I went. They were all swiped out of it, but it was back in stock. They had tons of it this week. And of course, this is another item to stock up on because this is good. Like I like snacking on this. It's like a meal replacement in the morning. You just wanna, you know, a quick little bite to take the hunger away. So yeah, these are really good. And uh, those are in your stores now if you can get them. And this is one of my favorite coffees when it's available, the Autumn Maple Coffee. Again, I'm a maple fan, but it's not really heavy maple. It's just a nice fall um, tone to it. It's a light roast, so it's not super strong. It really brews up a good pot of coffee. And, I mean, it's, I like the bag design. Again, um, the packaging has a lot to do with it also for me like if I am gravitated to buy it but I um, got that and then I also got its K-cup counterparts um, so these coffee cups they're the, like they fit the uh, Keurig K-cups but it's basically the same thing only these are for the Keurig machine and then this one's for your, your home brewer so anyway, um, both of these are really good. One I take to work, one I brew in the morning when I make a whole pot of coffee. So yeah, highly recommended coffee lovers out there. I also grabbed the pumpkin spice coffee uh, single serve cups. These are also for the Keurig machine. Um, I like the, I actually like the autumn maple coffee cups better but um, these are good as well and they also come in ground it's, uh, last year it came in a canister of ground coffee but I didn't see that this time around probably it's gonna come in a little later but anyway yeah this is another um, great fall item I usually grab a few boxes when it's available and it lasts like throughout like half of the year because it's good all the way until August of 23 so yeah if you stock up a lot on your favorite items, you can almost have fall all the whole year round until it comes around again. And then um, picked up the pumpkin spice Madeline cookies. You know, Madeline's are just good cookies all the way around, even the plain flavors, but pumpkin spice makes it even better. They're like the soft uh, pound cake texture, cakey, delicate um, cookies, really good. These are another good standby. I picked up another Honeycrisp Apple Cinnamon uh, Greek Yogurt. I did try it. It's, it's good. I like the one last year a little bit better, the Apple Caramel um, Greek Yogurt, because I like the way um, that was a little, this is really heavy on cinnamon, but it's still really good. It's still like one of my favorites. So I picked up another one of that. And I was excited to try the organic artichoke pasta sauce. I love artichokes. Um, it's, I got artichokes and uh, cheeses and a creamy sauce, so it looks really, really good. The only concern I might have, like to think that I might have, you know, artichokes have those hard outer leaves, so I'm just hoping it doesn't have those hard pieces like some artichokes do, but um, I'm hopeful. I think it's going to be good, and I'm a fan of artichokes, so I'm sure I'm going to love the flavor. So that's another exciting new product. And then I got the pumpkin bisque in the jar, and the pumpkin butternut squash bisque in the refrigerated section. 
So um, these could be like a taste test on which one's better. I believe I've tried this one last year and it was good. I think it's just a little too thin in my opinion, but the flavor is really good to compensate for that. And I don't believe I've ever tried this. I think I passed it up last year because I opted for this one instead. But anyway, this way year I'm gonna try both and see how they are and they're both available now. And um, this is something I did see every year but I haven't tried it. So this year I'm trying it, the Harvest Chili. It's got black beans, butternut squash, cauliflower, sweet potatoes and a pumpkin puree and chili spices. So um, that looks like a good hearty lunch. I love doing all these fall cozy foods right here, but um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's my haul this time around. So it wasn't super big, but I will be returning, like I said, um, very soon to pick up the fall fearless flyer and to see what else is out there. And um, yeah, so head into your Trader Joe's, watch my last video, watch this one, make your shopping list, and yeah, get shopping. And until next time, live, laugh, love, and eat, and shop at Trader Joe's, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.